Hey everybody, welcome back to a max velocity weather forecast and today what we're going over is that severe weather potential for later this afternoon into the evening hours as well as that potential for severe weather tomorrow across New England. We will give you the latest timing, the intensity of the storms and everything that you need to know will be in this forecast. Let's hop right into it. So as of right now, there is a slight risk for severe weather that does include southern Michigan, northern portions of Indiana, as well as far extreme northwestern Ohio and eastern and central portions of Illinois. There's also a marginal risk it extends all the way back up into Minnesota and it goes all the way back out to the west through Colorado. Main threats this afternoon will be the potential for damaging winds upwards of 70 miles per hour, especially again in the slight wrist area, as well as the potential for hail up to the size of golf balls and also the potential for maybe an isolated tornado or two. Here's your tornado threat for later this afternoon. Very low threat overall, but it does exist in southern Michigan and again those states in the Midwest and Ohio Valley are the most prominent for maybe an isolated tornado later this afternoon. Here's a look at the timing so there's been some confusion on when this line will actually develop. The MCS that we have going through the area right now is for it's weakening right now, but the MCS is going to eventually reiterate itself. It's actually going to redevelop this afternoon. So the timing is going to really be dependent on when that happens. It could be as early as three to four o'clock. It could be as late as eight to nine o'clock. And see, eight to nine o'clock, the NAM model does show storms beginning to develop around eight o'clock. Eventually, by nine to ten o'clock, that line is moving down to the south and east again, possibly posing that threat for some scattered, damaging wind gusts. Eventually, by about 11 to 12 o'clock, you can start to see those storms moving through areas like Indianapolis and going through areas near Bloomington. And eventually, by about 1 to 2 in the morning, that line is continuing to push down to the south, eventually weakening overall as it heads into Kentucky with severe threats being very low in that area. Here's a look at the timing for this afternoon over in Missouri. That line, or a little broken line, may develop along the interstate near Columbia and Kansas City uh, later this evening, possibly around 10 or 11 o'clock tonight. But it will be pretty short-lived, eventually kind of weakening out maybe a couple of other storms in Kansas developing. Those could also pose again damaging winds and maybe a little bit of light isolated large hail tornado threat is not expected there by any means here's a look at the timing for kansas tonight a couple isolated showers and storms again as i mentioned before over in eastern portions potentially of kansas there is a marginal threat that extends through actually the entire state here but uh overall again the main threat will likely be very limited it will be very isolated across uh, kansas so just kind of keep that in mind again near selena maybe by midnight or one o'clock there might be some storms developing that direction but eventually going to the morning hours tomorrow everything should be clearing out by then. Heading into tomorrow, there is a slight risk for severe weather that does include areas like Vermont, western Massachusetts, northwestern Rhode Island. It goes through eastern Pennsylvania as well as eastern and southeastern New York. Again, that yellow shaded region being your slight risk. Marginal risk of severe weather does extend all the way through Maine as well as all the way down to the southwest through a good portion of Virginia. Now, there is a tornado threat. You can see there's a very, it's a low, it's not zero, but it is going to be low tomorrow. You can see that threat does extend through even New Hampshire, Vermont, up into western Maine as well as through Pennsylvania, an isolated tornado or two cannot be ruled out. In most instances, any tornadoes over the next several days will just be brief and weak, just for reference. Nothing strong, nothing by any means that's going to be uh, catastrophic. But here's a look at the overall uh, timing for tomorrow. You can see storms will start to develop around 1 to 2 o'clock in eastern and central portions of New York. You can start to see some more cells developing there just to the west of Saratoga Springs. Eventually, by about 3 to 4 o'clock, storms again moving through New York and as well as potentially some more storms down in uh, eastern Pennsylvania. Overall, the threat again, damage winds give me the main threat with any of these storms maybe some isolated large hail by five to six o'clock storms moving into areas like rhode island again since they have that northeasterly direction cannot rule out maybe a couple of tornadoes again brief and weak is going to be possible here's a look at the timing over in southern new england five to six o'clock storms moving toward hartford as well, well as waterbury eventually by about seven to eight o'clock worcester seeing some storms closer to new york by the way eight o'clock going to see some storms over that direction by nine to ten o'clock most of the overall severity of these storms will go down we still might see an isolated cell back out maybe new york new york uh new jersey excuse me right around uh maybe 11 o'clock or so here's a look at the timing for up in northern new england later this or later tomorrow afternoon see by four to five o'clock storms moving through again maine and as well as potentially new hampshire maybe even near manchester seeing a couple of storms down that direction by six to seven o'clock storms maybe a couple more storms coming out of canada moving into maine cannot rule that out but overall the threat of those storms will be pretty minimal by nine to ten o'clock moving all the way through central and eastern maine and eventually going to the overnight hours everything will clear up and severe weather will be lesser by that point also there is a marginal threat for severe weather that does include areas like wisconsin as well as eastern portions of minnesota tomorrow here's a brief look at the timing we might have a few showers and storms develop these will be going from the northwest to southeast eventually by six to seven o'clock again these storms will be basically just producing isolated damaging winds and large hail overall though green bay might see some storms around the evening hours tomorrow but overall again very limited severe weather tomorrow a little risk for severe weather actually going into wednesday there is a marginal threat for severe weather it's a very limited threat 
but it does go through Virginia, South Carolina, Georgia, and Alabama. The main threats seem to be just damaging winds and maybe some isolated large hail. Nothing to be concerned about. Again, if you want more information, by the way, there is a tropical system developing right now that's a little low pressure system currently that is currently just off the coast of Florida. Make sure to click the little card on the right side of your screen. This forecast is brought to you by Platinum Contracting and All Dense Repair.